Beauty for me is about being comfortable in your own skin, that or a kick-ass red lipstick. Gwyneth Paltrow famously said that and I couldn't agree more. There's nothing sexier than luscious red lips. But one woman's ravishing red is another woman's complexion drainer. So how do you find the perfect red lipstick to suit you? The secret is matching the undertones of the lipstick to your skin tone. For instance, if you have quite pink undertones to your complexion, or quite a ruddish complexion, go for a red lipstick that also has pink undertones. If you're pale, a red lipstick with a slight shade of blue to it will be perfect for you, whereas darker colours, deeper colours like cherry, plum, blackberry look fantastic for darker skin tones and Asian skin tones. If you have quite yellow, warm tones to your complexion, then choose a red lipstick with a golden base. I found my perfect shade of red by Collection 2000 called Cherry Pop. It's long lasting, a complete bargain, and it always attracts compliments. But if you're still not sure of the perfect shade of red for you, then just nip to your local nearest makeup counter. The staff are fully trained, and often you can have a consultation or a makeover with no obligation to buy. Once you've found your perfect red lipstick, it's what to do with the rest of your makeup. You could either go for quite a natural look and let the lips do all the talking, and just team it with full-on voluminous lashes and otherwise natural eyes and natural base. You can have a volumizing mascara and just a smidgen of eyeliner, and then the red lips, or take a shortcut and have eyelash extensions. If you're not familiar with eyelash extensions, you have them professionally applied at a salon and they're individual false lashes that are applied in between your own lashes and over the top. It just really thickens them up and completely eliminates the need for mascara. It lasts for weeks and they just grow out with the natural cycle of your own lashes. You can also try individual false lashes, which you can buy from most good chemists. They look something like this and they come in a pack, all you need to put them on is a steady hand and some confidence. So just take them out with a pair of tweezers, use eyelash glue on the very ends and just place them as and where needed. Now if you're not very confident to try it yourself, either get a trusted friend to do it for you or again, you can have them professionally applied. Now I apply them to the outer corners of my eyes only. It elongates the shape, opens them up and ups my flutter factor. So luscious lashes and red lips is all I need. As with all bold colours, first of all, line your lips with a lip liner in a matching shade. Then fill in the colour with a lip brush, it just makes it last longer. If you have thin lips, steer clear of dark shades because it will only make them look narrower. A good trick to add a fuller looking pout is to apply a tiny bit of lip gloss in the centre of your lower lip. It just gives the illusion of a rounder and therefore fuller mouth. Also, if you want your lipstick to last longer, take a double ply tissue and separate the layers. Just take the single layer, apply it over your mouth and dust with a powder through the tissue using a large powder brush. The powder particles will fall through the tissue and set the colour without disrupting it, giving you longer lasting red lips.